Hiding in his garden all alone when his brother in his ear poured a little bit of handbane. Stole his brother's crown and his money and his widow, but the dead king walked and got his son and said, Hey, listen, kiddo, I've been killed and it's your duty to take revenge on Claudius. Kill him quick and clean and show the nation what a fraud he is. The kid says, right, I'll do it, but I'll need to play it crafty so that no one will suspect me. I'll kid on that I'm a dafty. So, for all except Horatio, because he trusts him as a friend, Hamlet, that's the boy, he gets on, he found the pen. And because he's not, re not yet ready for obligatory killing, he tries to make his uncle think he's tuppence off the shilling. Gets a rise out of Polonius, treats poor Ophelia vile, tells Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, Denmark's bloody bile. Then a troop of traveling actors like 784 arrive to do a special one-night gig in Elsinore. Hamlet, Hamlet, acting balmy. Hamlet, Hamlet, loves his mommy. Hamlet, Hamlet, hesitating. He wonders if the ghosts are fake, and that is why he's waiting. So, Hamlet wrote a scene for the players to enact, so Horatio and him could watch and see if Claudius cracked. The play was called The Mousetrap, not the one that's running now. And sure enough, the queen wrote it. Sure enough, the king walked out before the scene was through. So, Hamlet has the proofs that Claudius gave his dad a dose. The only trouble being now that Claudius knows he knows. So while uh, Hamlet tells his mommy her new husband's not a fit man, Uncle Claude takes out a contract with the English king as hit man. <laughs> so when Hamlet killed Polonius, concealed corpus delecti, was the king's excuse to spend, send him for an English hemp and necktie with Rosen, Clance, and Guildenstern to make sure that he got there. But Hamlet jumped a boat and put the finger straight on that pair. And when Laertes heard his dad killed in the bedroom of the heiress, he came racing back to Elsinore, toot sweet hot foot from Paris, and Ophelia with the man, with the, uh, with her dad killed by the man she wished to marry. After saying it with flowers, she committed Harry Carey. <laughs> Hamlet, Hamlet, no messin'. Hamlet, Hamlet, learned his lesson. Hamlet, Hamlet, Yorick's crust. Convinced him all men good and mad, at last must come to dust. So, Laertes lost as cool he was, demanding retribution, and the king said, keep your head and I'll provide you a solution. So, he arranged a sword fight for the interested parties, with a blended sword for Hamlet and a sharp sword for Laertes. <laughs> and to make double sure the old belt and braces line, he fixed up a poison sword tip and a poison cup of wine. And uh, it's a poison cup of wine. And uh, the, the, the poison sword got Hamlet, right? but Laertes went and muffed it, because he got stabbed himself and he confessed before he snuffed it. <laughs> then Hamlet's mommy drank the wine and as her face turned blue, Hamlet said, I think this king's a baddie through and through. <laughs> Incestuous, murderous, damn the Dane. He said to be precise and to made up for hesitating by killing Claudius twice because he stabbed him with a sword and forced the wine between his lips. And then he said, the rest is silence. And he cashed in all his chips they fired a volley over him and shook the topmost rafters, and Ford and Brass knee deep in Danes lived happy ever after. Hamlet, Hamlet, the end of story. Hamlet, Hamlet, very gory. Hamlet, Hamlet, I'm on my way. And if you thought that was confusing, you should read the bloody play. <laughs>